Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with a little something different, man. This is the second half of the half and half of the whatever the show is that we, me and Brutus Sam are doing. Uh, you know, we uh, first off, let me let Brutus introduce himself. Introduce yourself. Go ahead, man. What up, what up? It's your boy. You don't know. Brutus, you want to see what you can mean? <laughs> all right, man. Let's get it, man. All right, so what we're doing is we're just doing a little basketball talk. If you if you haven't seen the first half, the first half is on his channel. So if you had not seen that, stop the video, click on the link in the description, go watch his video, and then come back and then pick it up from here. Come back. Or, uh, yeah, or... or or just watch this to the end and then go watch that because, you know, we're talking yeah. about two games. I mean, you can watch them in any order, so it really doesn't matter. But anyway, man, what we here to talk yeah, about today right. is, yeah, but we talked about the Cavaliers and the uh, and the Knicks on his channel. We're talking about uh, San Antonio and Golden State on this on this one, man. And, uh, you know, this was like the hype beast game of the night, man. Like, this was the most hyped game. Uh -huh. This was the one, like, and if you want to see, real. I mean, but, and, and this was like what we would call, you got good, fundamental, hard-nosed, Grind it out, you know, defense. A little boring at times. Yeah, yeah. In the San Antonio Spurs, that's what they do. And not flashy on offense, just efficient. You had yeah. hard-nosed defense and efficient offense versus, um, you know, like like high-powered offense. Yeah, high-powered offense with, with uh, what would you call it, uh, regular defense, just just ordinary defense, I guess. Even though Kevin yeah, Durant played some much. good defense last night, like you pointed out. And yeah, like we said, yeah, this, I was impressed with his defense. Yeah, so, I mean, you can't – the Warriors are actually a pretty good defensive team, but individually they're playing – like Steph is weak on defense, right, but Clay is strong yeah, on defense, on. Draymond is strong on defense. So they have a good defensive team, but they just have some weak parts to it. So you can't be around somebody yeah. like Clay and not and, and Draymond who demand that you play D – and exactly really not right. and not pick up something right. So we want to stress that this is the first game, so you can't really take a whole lot away from it. But I will tell uh, you this: so I'm not gonna be like the Warriors look bad, but I will say that the Spurs uh, looked really they're good. They're trying to figure it out. Exactly. They're trying to figure it out. You got the can't. Warriors. They're trying to fit those pieces, right? Especially without the big bodies <clears throat> inside anymore. That's absolutely correct. Yeah, they're trying to figure it out. They're trying to figure but it out. Spurs look amazing. Right, they do. And and one thing that I was trying to st stress to people last night, I don't know what the Warriors' uh, points per game was last season, but let's just say that the sport, that the per, that the uh, that their points per game last season was like a hundred. Let's just we gonna use a hundred as a little baseline. And then you got Kevin Durant coming. He he probably averages like twenty five points a game. Let's say Harrison Barnes averages ten. So that doesn't mean that they're gonna yeah. score. 115 points a game, you know what I'm saying? Because that's Everyone the difference. They're going to score like 150 now. Right, right. <laughs> it's, that's not what's going to happen. They just will score the 100 easier and more consistently, but you're yeah. not going to score. Normals are going to move around. Correct. And so that's what a lot of people are wondering, who's going to take the hit? And and just kind of like we suspect that Clay is the one that's probably going to take the hit. The only thing is, and it's not a problem, yeah. it's just a thing, Clay can come out there and turn it on and score 20 points in the quarter and just, just, be, exactly. just go unconscious. Because that's that's like what he does. We've seen him do it before. We've seen him score 27 and a quarter, 30. I know one night I had him on my fan duel, and I was like, I'm going to lose this game unless Clay score 51. And we were in the third quarter. <laughs> I went to sleep and woke up, and shoot, hey, he had like 50-some points. I won the fan duel. But like we said, he got, he, he has that ability. But, um, but, but if anybody's going to take a back seat, it will be Clay because Steph's going to get his shots because he has the ball, obviously. And then you got, you know, Kevin Durant is the ISO player, so he's going to get his shots. Draymond is somewhat of a facilitator, so he's going to be in spots where he's going to have more access to the ball to take the shot, you know. Yeah. So, so. I think he let in assist last night, which yeah. is what what's pretty much going to be the um, identity of the team. Right, right, <laughs> right. And, I, and, and, and we know that, so like, so like, I'm not saying that they look bad or anything. I think that a lot of times in basketball, and I know this, a lot of times in basketball, it's just about your matchup. It's just about who you play. And yeah. they just don't match up well with the Spurs because the Spurs can beat you Spurs up inside. At the moment. Right, at the moment. At the moment. At the moment. But uh, what, you Spurs, know what? They sent the biggest at them. Yeah, they but. They sent the bigs at them. Yeah, that's right. But I ain't even going to say at the moment. I mean, they just don't match up well with the Spurs because the Spurs got inside scoring. Now that's not to say they can't beat the Spurs. The reason why I said the moment because the reason why I said the moment because um, it, 
Well, they're still trying to figure it out, man. Right, they got right. Some a little, a few pieces on the sidelines, but you know. but even but even once they figure it out, they're not gonna match up well. Now they will perform better yeah. against them. Now I'm yeah. saying that, yeah, yeah they yeah, definitely exactly. perform better against them, but they just don't match up well. Because because the Spurs got interior score. It's just like they don't really match yeah. up well with, yeah. Sa- with Sacramento because Sacramento got Boogie. He can score on the block anytime he wants. Now, they probably come out there and blow the doors right. off Sacramento, but they just don't match up well with them. So, you know, um, right. Now, at the same time, if, the, if, if Golden State comes out there and they're hitting their shots, you know they may blow the doors off the Spurs, yeah. but they just don't. They just didn't match up well. And like you said, it was a, it was just the first game. And anytime you've got a team that shoots versus a team that goes yeah. inside, the first the first game the team that that, go, that scores inside is going to have the advantage. It's just yeah. that's just how it is. And one thing I gotta mention. Yeah. One thing I gotta mention. That Spurs defense. They play that zone. Yeah. And they switch all the picks. And they can all the picks. They right. were switching, man. Because they can. They do. They is extremely difficult. This. Correct, because that dude Simmons, man, like he showed. I, I don't. Everybody was like, "Who is this kid?" I mean, he came man, out there. I he, didn't he, know him. Yeah, he played extremely. <laughs> he played extremely well. It's just one game, like we said. So, so we're not anointing him the next, you know, the second coming know, of right? of Kawhi. But it's just one game. But he, I gotta give him his props. He played extremely well. Um, all yeah, just played he like extremely. a great compliment to, to Kawhi. Right, great Ka- compliment. Kawhi, Kawhi played lights out. Uh, Aldridge played extremely well. I mean, it, it just it just was it just was one of those things where unstoppable force, irresistible, uh, what is it, unstoppable force and the immovable logic or uh, irresistible force, whatever they yeah. call it. You know what I mean? It was just one of those <laughs> things where where you just ran into something and and it just happened that and and it just happened that time. And I wouldn't even be surprised if if um, the Warriors came and ran off like a 15 game winning streak from from here. I don't know who they play. But I'm saying that exactly. that you there's only one San Antonio Certain Spurs, teams. right? Right. And Certain they, teams, I think, built their team for the Warriors. That's correct. And if you run into one of those, you're gonna have some trouble that night. If you and if your shots aren't falling that night, then you're gonna lose to them. I mean, it, it just is what it is. But at the same time, this is not to say that the next 15 games, their shots might be falling. They just blow doors and look like the team that everybody expected them to be, which I really still think that they probably are. Well, I, I think that they are. I, I really still think that they are that team, but they just ran into the Spurs. I mean, that was the only team that really gave them a challenge last year. If you, if you, I mean, if we're being completely honest, nobody else really gave them a challenge uh, last year. The Spurs just were that team. So, so you know, like I said, yeah. they just built their team to beat them, and then they got Pau Gasol. Um, they got David Lee inside, you know, they – they just got a they they got a front line man that that's gonna be People tough. People forget the Spurs always sleeps a few years. Exactly. You know, win one, they sleep a few years, then the next, and then they just come out for that championship run. Right, right, right. So, like I said, we like we're not Ryan. we're not anointing the Spurs the Western Conference champions, and we're not saying uh, that that the uh, no. that the Warriors are in trouble by any stretch of the imagination. Because, like I said, after you can't tell anything to about twenty five games in. Don't be surprised yeah. if, if twenty. I don't know if they play the Spurs again in these first twenty-five games, hey. but don't be don't be surprised hey, if they're twenty-five and one or twenty-four and one after in the fact, first twenty-five Jay, games. Like, was I usually wait till after the All Star break. Exactly. In fact, right? <laughs> because you just don't know. Basketball is so fickle like that. Anybody can beat anybody any night, so it really doesn't mean anything. Like I said, the Spurs look good. And the Warriors didn't look bad. I mean, they scored a hundred points on one of the best defensive teams yeah, in the I'm league. Right. So, so they didn't look exactly. bad or anything. They just, they just got beat by the Spurs. And uh, you know, that front yep. line, the Spurs are gonna do this to a lot of people. I mean, they had the, the second best rebounds, record in the those league. Rebounds. Yeah, they had the second best record in the league last year. They didn't have it for no reason. I mean, hell, they won damn near as many games. They might have hit, uh, they might have hit seventy some odd uh, games if. If uh, Pop didn't just just don't give a fuck about the regular season, he'll arrest anybody at any time. He don't yeah. care. So you know it is what it is. So like I said, we ain't anointing oh. nobody, and we're not condemning that. them guys. We just we just speaking about it objectively. Yeah. And the Spurs looked good. It, yeah. But but, but it definitely got to look at the rebounds. Like the Spurs were plus twenty. Yeah. Exactly. On the board. Right. <laughs> but that's always been an issue, really, especially when you're giving up Festus Azili and you're giving up uh, more yeah. buckets. I mean it's. It's going to be something. And them guys probably didn't bring all that many rebounds, but they did bring a certain level of toughness inside. Bogan ain't 100% again yet. I think I saw No, no, no. He's not even there. Uh, he, he ain't back yet. Josh Pachulia was on Atlanta. I know he don't rebound, dog. He really don't. Like, his numbers may say that he, he rebounds, 
he don't rebound. That dude is stretch big. <laughs> uh, Hall of Fame stretch big, so you know it is what it is. But like I said, man, both teams looked good. When Kevin Durant really gets it together and they figure out, well, he, he had it together last night, but when all the pieces, when they finally figure out how they want to use all those pieces, just watch out they for those guys. Problem. They're going to really be a problem, problem man. And uh, like and, and honorable mention, we, we hey, Dame Lillard had had a hell of a game last night, and uh, Joe Johnson did too. We really didn't didn't see that game because those weren't on yeah. national TV. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, it was Utah and um, Portland. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, mean, I, I, I was. I, I ain't gonna front. We I got was, better games to watch. Yeah, we had better <laughs> games to watch. But like I said, I am excited to see in both of these teams. Go going forward, like I said, don't be surprised if they don't. Let's say if they don't play each other again in the first twenty-five games, I wouldn't be surprised to see both of them at like twenty-four and one in the next, uh, yeah. you know, in the next after twenty-five games or whatever. But that's that's about it, man. You guys, let us know what you like, what you think in the comments. Let us know uh, what you thought about, uh, what you think about the name, man. Uh, what should we name it? Uh, should we cover half some more half. topics? You know, we like half and half, yeah. NBA half and half, something like that. So you know. But, uh, you know, we try to keep these videos. We don't want them to be like 30 minutes and nothing like that. But we out of here, man. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! And, yeah. You don't know your boy, Simon, is seeing what I mean. Bless. All right, man. And I'm sure we forgot something, but somebody in the comments going to let us know. So, yeah, it is what it is. Put it in the comments, man. Put it in the comments. <laughs> All right. And remember, check out the first part of the video on my channel. Man. Right. Check out the All first right. half of the video on his channel. And like I said, if we forgot something, we're not trying to bash either team. We just we just trying to shoot it straight down the middle. And, uh, you know, this is the first one. So, hey, cut us some slack, man. We out. Peace.